When most people think about networks, they think about bytes and bits, wires, fibers, racks, and machines. Most traditional network approaches try to control the network data and force it down static paths. The problem with the traditional approach is it allows for congestion, underutilization, brownouts, and slow response times. We at Tulare think differently. We think about your network data as fluid and dynamic. It's not rigid and static. Just as water finds its lowest point, your data should find its most efficient path using the best networks as it travels. If the path the data is using becomes obstructed, shouldn't the data simply flow around the obstacle, just like water flows around rocks in a stream? Why should the end users be affected? Let's explore how Tulare ensures your data keeps moving. Imagine this container is a network that can be filled with different application traffic. In the container, we have bars that represent the latency and the bandwidth of each network's ability to transmit across the WAN. Let's say you have a small mouse click. Let's pour some of that interactive data into the network. Notice how the liquid flows to the lowest latency level. If the application doesn't need bandwidth, why would we want to use the higher latency network anyway? Now, let's say we have more traffic flowing. Notice how it spills up to the next lowest latency path. Now, that application can use both paths simultaneously. Because of both the efficiency of our approach we're using and the ability for us to resequence packets on the other side of the network, the data stream will stay in order when it's received at that far end. This allows for that single application session to use all the transmission capacity in the network. If it does not need the capacity, the single application session will only use the best bandwidth it needs and flow around the lower quality bandwidth. Just like gravity compels water to find its lowest level, our data will naturally find its best path. Now, let's add in some more important traffic than our mouse click. The more important voice application, for example, will gravitate to the lowest part of the network, while the less important mouse click interactive traffic is displaced to the higher latency networks. We call this data displacement, and it was inspired by Archimedes. It was then that the Tulare team had its eureka moment. As the underlying network changes, our fluid data will continue to optimally adapt and utilize the best available bandwidth for its needs. The important thing to know is that the really important traffic will naturally flow to the best capable resources, while less important traffic will use the network resources available afterwards. But because of our techniques, all the traffic is kept in order and the users are never impacted. If the network changes their behavior for any reason, such as congestion, brownouts, or blackouts, as predictably as water will flow around any shape, your data will flow around the obstruction without impacting your end user's critical applications. Cheers.